For years, gun reform has been one of the most contentious topics at the state legislature. And during one of those hearings this week, the spokesperson behind Colorado's largest gun lobby made horrendous racial comments and comments about the Holocaust to back his arguments against gun control. Denver 7 political reporter Megan Lopez is going deeper into those comments tonight that are facing harsh criticism. Just about every year at the Colorado State Legislature, there's a familiar debate. And it's not just about feeling unsafe. A debate over gun reforms versus the Second Amendment. This year, no different. So far, four bills have been introduced around guns and several more are on the way. On Monday, the committee will come to order. A House committee debated two of them, including one to add more protections for gun owners from federal laws. During that debate, a spokesperson from Colorado's biggest gun lobby testified, first speaking about genocide and the deaths of Jewish people in the Holocaust. Maybe they should have taken a couple Nazis out on the way. Maybe it would have been good for them to have the ability to defend themselves. Then having this exchange with a Democratic representative. Firearms are the leading cause of death for American children. Uh, yeah, so if you remove black males in that age group from that, uh, it is not true. And that is, a, that is a symptom of a different issue. The issue that is that is causing young black males to be killed in their homes, on their streets, is a very different issue. Comments that are facing a lot of criticism. The data being referred to was compiled by this guy. You can see that firearm-related injuries have increased pretty, pretty drastically in the last Five years or so. Especially. Jason Goldstick, a statistician from the University of Michigan who says, yes, firearms have now overtaken car crashes as the number one killer of kids. And like black youth are definitely at higher risk than uh, non-Hispanic white or Hispanic white or um, you know, Native American. But he also wants to be clear. There is a public health approach that doesn't involve gun control. Denver 7 was set to interview Kevin LaRusso about his comments Monday, but that interview was canceled. Instead, a statement was sent by Rocky Mountain gun owners saying LaRusso is their most junior staffer and quote, in his testimony, he misspoke when discussing a heated topic surrounding the gun issue. Do you have any statistics of injury. Meanwhile, on Wednesday, another committee debated another gun bill, this time to allow counties to ban shooting in some unincorporated areas, even on private property. In these dense places, it you can't you won't be able to shoot a gun. Um, if your county decides to do that. The bill came up from people in St. Mary's Glacier who live near their neighbors and say the gunfire is persistent and dangerous. People were using large caliber rifles, presumably with a bump stock on a one third acre lot using a pine tree as a backstop. We want to get ahead of it and say, hey, our counties are changing, especially along the front range. They're getting more and more dense. But opponents argue that this tramples on their constitutional rights. It is another example of lawmakers treating good, honest, law-abiding Coloradans like criminals for merely exercising their Second Amendment free, uh, freedoms. Despite opposition, it passed committee and moves on. These bills, the first gun legislation this session, but certainly not the last. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.